Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, my name is Ernest Peña and I'm the director of converts here at SNMIC in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, today I'll be going over uh, a two-part lesson. Uh, part one, I will be talking about tad tadhib and aqlaq um, uh, in Islam. And uh, what is, I'll be going over in part one, what is tadhib and aqlaq? And what is needed, what is the need for tadhib and aqlaq? Um, in part two, I'll be going over how do we know the difference between good and bad and studying in the Quran and Hadith. So inshallah, without further ado, let's get started with the lesson. What is tadhib and aqlaq? And uh, from the beginning, I apologize. Uh, Arabic is obviously not my first uh, uh, language. So I apologize in advance for if I butcher any of this. I am doing my best, inshallah. So what is tahib and aqlaq? Uh, tahib is der derived from the Arabic root word hadhaba. Hadhaba means to train, clean, improve, and refine someone. Thus, tahib means training and education for personal improvement and refinement. Uh, in short, tadhib means moral education. A moral, a moral is a standard of good behavior. Uh, honesty, kindness, helpfulness, modesty, truthfulness, all of these are examples of morals. Uh, another word that we use for morals and manners in the Arabic uh, and in Islam is aqlaq. Aqlaq is derived from the Arabic word kolaka. Kolaka means to create, shape, and mold. Aqlaq thus means naturally, uh, thus means naturally good temper, uh, noble character, and good manners. Uh, Islam teaches us all people are born on the fitra, true noble nature, that is transmitted from by Bukhari. Um, the Hadith of Bukhari. Uh, environment can make one good or bad. The Quran and the Sunnah teach us good morals and manners. Our Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, was the best example of the teachings of the Quran. Of the teachings of the Quran, it is very important for a Muslim to learn about Islamic tahib and the clock and follow the Sunnah as the best model. Inshallah. So what is the need for tahrib and aqlaq? Good moral behavior is the basis of a successful Islamic life. Remember, life on earth begins as a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see if we, be, we would be his true servants and fight off temptations of the shayateen. On the day of judgment, every human being will be asked uh, how he or she behaved on this earth. Those who obey Allah and exercise good moral judgment will be rewarded with paradise, Jannah, eternal happiness in paradise and Jannah. Uh, those who disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sacrificed their morals for worldly gains will be punished with eternal, eternal unhappiness in hellfire, Jahannam. Uh, therefore, in order to please Allah, and enter paradise on the day of judgment, we must learn proper Islamic tadhib and practice aqlaq. In addition to making us successful in the afterlife, exercising proper tadhib can also make life here on earth more comfortable. If we are polite and treat people with respect, we gain their respect in return. If all human beings learn to respect each other, our lives will be peaceful and happy. So inshallah, I hope this benefits for, uh, benefits us and I pray that this video uh, benefits us in understanding our Islam a little bit better and hopefully we can practice our deen inshallah and become better Muslims because of it. Uh, look out for part number two on how do we know the difference between good and bad and studying the Quran and Hadith 
And after that, we'll just go ahead and ask ourselves a little bit of uh, questions to gain on self-reflection on this lesson. Stick around for part two. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.